That's not an Man, ID. Man, that don't look like you. you are, this don't look like you. <laughs> Sharp, that's not your yeah. ID. That's not your ID. That's not your ID. It's a pair of keys. What's your name, bro? 29.12.99. What's your name on it? Jack Sharples. Sharple, that's not an ID. Where are you living? Oh, it's not that one. It's not that one. Sorry, sorry mate. Sorry about it. It might be this one. Okay. What's your name, bro? Is that your ID? Sharple, that's not your ID. You know, this is your key. That's your car keys. No. It's not, it's his ID. What's your name, bro? Is that a real ID? Why is it clear? It's clear. You are. You know what it is, isn't it? Chapels. I don't know what you mean, it's pronounced over 99. Chapels, that's yeah. not your ID. That's a pair of keys. Oh. Sorry mate, sorry about this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. That's not your ID, Chapels. I need my f***ing ID. That's, you do, right? You take your ID. That's not your ID. That's car keys. When the Daily Wire called Patton Oswalt a supposed comedian, Oswalt responded with, Guys, if you're gonna write an article about me being a failed comedian, maybe don't use a pic of me holding up the Emmy I won for doing comedy. Nah, what? They give Emmys out to everybody, right? Right? Like, come on, they just that's a participation trophy. No, no way did you work hard for that award. TikToker who entered Stranger's home defends videos amid calls for his arrest. I'm a black male doing these things, and that's why there's such an uproar on the internet. Seriously, this guy has done a lot more than just entering people's houses. This man has stolen somebody's dog, threatened someone's life, hijacked a train, and all of those acts happened before he was even held accountable. He was recently arrested by the police, but released because he's a child. What are they supposed to do? People wanting you to be held accountable for your devious acts isn't because you're black. It's because you're a criminal who's committing crimes for TikTok clout. FSU tailgate tonight, saw a girl drop two tickets. I got her attention and she rudely said, I had a boyfriend. Guess whose seats I'm in? Man, I would do more than just taking pictures in her seats. I would take pictures of the tickets. I would take a selfie of me sitting in said seats. I would be incredibly petty. The day I realized my husband had changed the locks after I had an affair and was left pounding on the door pleading, sickened and furious. Oh my God, if it isn't the consequences of your actions. Oh no, you were held accountable for being an awful person. Oh my God, I wonder how long he kept you out there. I hope he never let you in. I hope those locks remain changed. What are you doing writing a Daily Mail article about this? You really thought people would agree with you? Now this next post has a little bit of context to it. This is an email that was supposed to be sent to the owner of the apartment building, but instead was sent to the tenant. You'll recall the discussions I had with you early in the year about the high maintenance nature of this particular tenant. Out of all of the properties I manage, he has the most maintenance requests and occupies the most of my and therefore your time. On one occasion, the air conditioning, he called every day for two weeks. The receptions are sick of him. In order to play this smooth, I think we should offer to renew the lease, but with an exorbitant increase. I'm thinking going from $500 to $950 and attribute it to the current rental market. I don't think we get this much if we relisted, but certainly get a bit of a boost, not to mention the peace of mind of having a better tenant. Current properties are being let within a week or so, so you wouldn't have much time to worry about loss income if he agrees to the increase it's a surprise win happy to chat kind regards somebody is about to get sued any lawyer would eat this up this is basically free money this 17 year old boy scout built a nuclear reactor in his mom's backyard 20 years ago that made the neighborhood radioactive he got in touch with the nuclear regulatory commission and started corresponding with them pretending to be a physics teacher he built an unspeakably dangerous thing in his backyard and the radiation levels kept rising at one week, David's Geiger counter could detect it from his bedroom. He started getting worried that he might be putting others in danger. At a month, he could detect radiation from five houses down the street. He began to dismantle his reactor. At 2.40, at August 31st, 1994, David began loading his nuclear reactor into his Pontiac. His neighbors thought he was stealing tires, so the police were called. He told them not to search his car because it was radioactive. Police hear radioactive and think atomic bomb. The bomb squad was called and David was arrested. Also, the radiation level in the car alone was 1,000 times the normal background levels. Oh, and here's a fun fact. That second picture of David was well after the first picture. That's a mugshot of David after he was caught stealing fire detectors from an apartment building. 
Why, you might ask? Well, americium. That's why. The radioactive material found in most smoke detectors. And all of those sores on his face aren't from meth, they're sores from constant exposure to radioactivity. This next clip is of a guy who wanted to go kite surfing, but things kind of got out of control. Oh, f yeah. Things to do to keep your man humble. Tell him his penis is fine or normal. Casually compare him to other men. Give one word answers. Avoid eye contact and lean away. Lavish more attention on your dog than him. Tell him that you need a break from texting. Wow, I'm gonna do all of these on my girlfriend. Thanks for the manipulation advice. You are hateful. I've spent the past two days outdoors with very little internet and it wasn't the worst. Might try again in the future. It's really too bad that a bear or mountain lion didn't cross your path. Oh well, I'll keep praying that you'd meet your demise soon and it's a way that everyone would know it's God that did it. Where did any of that come from? Why are you being actually hateful on the internet? What is this? Where is this malice coming from? You don't like the fact that he's offline? <laughs> I'm not really understanding the hate around this show. Egypt is obviously in Africa, so she could have been an African American. We have no idea what she looked like, so we can't assume. She could have been African American. Seriously, please, take a moment to think about what you said there. This next clip is of a police officer with no lights on, going out of his way to harass somebody on a motorcycle. Right now, call 311 388717. 911. Today, Sunday, alternate side parking. Kim Kardashian opens up about the struggles of being a single parent. There are nights I cry myself to sleep. Hush, silence, please stop speaking. You are a billionaire. You don't even raise your children. You hire other people to raise your children. Seriously, in order for me to feel a molecule of sympathy for you, I want you to write a 10 bullet point list on how you being a single parent is hard. How that has affected your life negatively. I, I really want to know. 10 bullet points. Sex was created by God for marriage between a husband and wife, not for a boyfriend and girlfriend that are dating. Show me Adam and Eve's marriage certificate. Let me see it. I need to see it right here. Put it right on my desk. Do you think we should save Homo sapiens from going extinct? If they're going extinct, that's like a little sad, but at the end of the day, I don't care. You ever just glue your hand to the asphalt to protest oil or whatever? <laughs> this woman spent three months in jail after police mistook cotton candy for meth. Don't they have testers for that stuff? Isn't there chemicals that can alert whether or not a substance is a substance? Doesn't that exist? And really, I've seen pictures of meth. It doesn't look fluffy. Meth is a crystal. It's not fluffy. That 2K you worked hard for is better than 100K that's given to you for free. Finance bro, I need you to shut up. Don't you ever give anyone advice ever again. What is that statement? What is that supposed to mean? This is our war on wildlife. Now birds are not allowed to be in trees, it seems. Maybe stop trying to erase and oppose nature. Try coexisting. Just a thought. To be honest, I see both sides. One side, I understand that trees and birds have been friends since the beginning. On the other side, bird shit is gross, and who wants to be shat on? Not me, so find a different tree. This next clip is of a woman participating in a tug of war with no clue of how tug of war works. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, I need to feel that happen though. Huh? My wife can't bear me a son. I have exactly four daughters, but I still don't have a son to continue my lineage and blood. I'm thinking of exploring getting someone else pregnant. I'm starting to resent her. What should I do? You have four daughters. You've already succeeded at spreading your lineage and blood. What you mean to say is that you don't want your last name, your family line to end. And there's nothing you can do about that. That's done. All right. You had four daughters. That's four dice rolls and you crapped out every time. Well, had to leave Deadpool shortly into the movie. Should have realized beforehand that it would have been too adult for a nine year old. At least the tickets were only five dollars. Live and learn. I heard someone else say the same thing. They should give parents some type of warning or give a better rating. You mean like an R rating? The rating that's exclusively for adults? I have to always be reminded about this really weird time when Deadpool came out. People saw a superhero movie and thought I should bring my child. They didn't even think to look at the rating. Remember everyone, most people are stupid. The vast majority of humanity don't have any brain cells. I need a coffee that tastes like uh, Lana Del Rey. Yeah. Maybe with uh, cinnamon or cherries and wine. Lana Del Rey. Passengers traveling first class on British Airways, Boeing 747s, are worried about a redesign which means some lavatories have windows. A woman traveling to New York complained that there were no blinds. She was told by a stewardess, ma'am, if some pervert is clinging onto the side of this aircraft at 35,000 feet, they deserve to see everything. I accidentally hit the language button on my remote last night and watched Family Guy in Spanish for 10 minutes, thinking that it was a weird joke. Man, at that point, I would just continue the episode. Let's just see how many words I can barely understand and catch throughout this entire funny episode. Let's see if the comedic timing can actually translate to Spanish. That would be a really fun time. This is probably pretty dangerous now that I think about it. Oh, there we go. Yellowstone National Park says encounter between park visitor and bison calf forced authorities to euthanize the animal. There are literally signs everywhere you step that say don't touch anything. No living creatures, no plants, don't touch anything because it's supposed to be pure wilderness. It's a preserve for a reason and you're now responsible for a bison calf getting euthanized. That's gonna come up on Judgment Day. I'm just letting you know, that's going to come up. I can't pick up my dog's prescription because I can't remember her date of birth. They won't tell me it because it's patient privacy. She's a dog. She won't tell me it either. How do you feel about ChatGPT? Um, I've heard it's really bad for the environment. Like I heard like water gets wasted because of like something with like the computer. So I would say I don't like it. I think I figured out time travel. If you take a lamp and turn it on, light seems to move forward. Now turn it off, the light seems to retract or disappear. I'm only 14 years old, so I may be spitting nonsense, but it seems like the speed of darkness is the key to going back in time. Because darkness seems to travel backwards, so if you can find a way to almost disappear with darkness, then theoretically, we should be able to travel back in time. Am I smoking crack? Or did I just come up with a discovery right there? I think, I think I'm a genius. Went to my girlfriend's house and her sister is swimming in the fish tank. This is not Photoshop. This is not AI generated. This is a toddler swimming in a fish tank. Sorry about that. That's quite all right. What's going on? A domestic dispute. Okay. And it's over. Everybody's okay? Everybody's okay. Are you the one who called? No. My daughter did. On you? No. On my son. All right. Well, I need to talk to him. I need to see him. It is... You can see them, it's fine. It's 193. 193. Hello, Clarendon, in the alley south and east of 48A. I'll have them come out if you don't mind. That's fine. Is there any weapons involved? No. I have one in the safe, it's locked up. You need to. You cannot do that. I'm me. here. I, you have listen. to unlock the door. I'm here. Open the door, please. He's That's not. Fine. I'm not coming in. I'll be right back. Okay. Keep the door open. No. I'll shut the door. No, and this is not an option. I'm going to stay right here, as I'll respect that. My mom said she'll be right back. That means you you work for us, sir. I called you. Appreciate that. Okay, so can you put no. your foot... 
You are violating my privacy. I need to shut the door. Do you understand I'm here because you called? I so called? So you made me your business, okay? Yeah, and well, all and I they hung do, up on me, so... Listen, that wasn't me. Don't take that out on me. I'm only here to help, to understand what happened. And then I'm going to walk away if everybody's okay. It's easy. I'm not I trying to... I would like to... to shut the door. I don't want you to do that. I want to make you sure I talk to you. don't have a warrant to come in my house. I'm not going in. Emily, stop arguing. Yes, you guys want to talk to me, please? Stop arguing. About so. what? Emily. Have a good afternoon. What's going on? Please. Um, Would you want to step outside and talk to me? Yeah, you can step outside so I can shut the door finally because he wants to violate my privacy. Emily, uh, no, stop it's it. so wrong. Dude, it's Emily, so wrong. This like, is no, the problem. We pay him with our taxes, down. dude. Like, you need to shut the door. Period. I know she called the cops because she was being really disrespectful. I threw away her bacon and I told her to leave. And then I got really upset. I picked up the tote, I dropped the tote, and then I went into my room. Pro basketball player suspended after drug test revealed he was pregnant. That must have been a crazy day. Not only did you get fired from playing basketball, but now you know that you're a dad. So, you know, glass half full. Some customer on the phone was saying I was very helpful and way better than the person he was speaking to yesterday, who was also me, so we up. That is pretty much the best type of flattery that any call service worker could get, to be honest. You improved in literally 24 hours. Hipster gets mad his photo was used in article about how all hipsters look alike, then finds out it wasn't him. That's a hard one to live down. That's going to be carved on the tombstone, man. Everybody's going to remember you as that dude. The hipster dude who thought he was different. All right, we got ourselves a metal double tooth barber comb. Eliminate static and keep your hair neat. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder how people feel about this really nice item. Not metal at all. Looks great, feels great, but definitely not metal. This thing is made of aluminum. I tried sticking a magnet to it just to confirm, but it's still a great comb. Hey John, I've been so horny since we last spoke. I've never felt like this after meeting a guy. Sorry, who's this? Hey, I'm glad your phone is working. It's Steve, your plumber. I've sent multiple overdue invoices, final notices, and called numerous times now. Please pay the invoice before I take legal action. And our final post of the day is from Facebook. I was on the I-35 SB to Oklahoma near Paul's Valley, and this woman has blocked both lanes of traffic and is twerking in her underwear on the roof of the car. Hey look, you're late for work. That's a guarantee. That's not changing, but at least you got a pretty mediocre show. So you're in the boat with the basketball guy. Glass half full. It, it can't be all bad. What's up everybody? It's your boy Illyris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This month is chock full of content. All of it, every ounce of entertainment that you guys desire at a reasonable time. I'm going to be uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, as per usual, at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, because I am moving from the East Coast, which is nuts, to be honest, because I've lived here my whole life. Uh, I've never moved to any other state or any other, you know, region of the United States. So, like, yeah, this recording is being made exactly 48 hours before I pack up and move from my homeland of the East Coast, the Mid-Atlantic, to the center of the nation, which is insane. I am so nervous and excited at the same time, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Speaking of which, let's give a big thanks to the Patreon supporters that make my life and this content possible. A big thank you to Jacob, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fitch Chivalry, Din Corda, Code Connor Purvis, Aileris's Mom, Declan, S16, Green Pasta Man, Squish, Ren Hex, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Zach F, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.